5G may be what everyone's talking about, but Wi-Fi 6 is about to blow your doors off. The Wi-Fi Alliance, the global network of companies that brings you, you guessed it, Wi-Fi, recently announced that it would start offering Wi-Fi 6 certifications to device manufacturers. That means they will make sure that all Wi-Fi 6 devices are up to the same technical standards. And if they are, there will be a badge on the packaging to let you know, like USDA ground beef. You're probably thinking, hey Mark, that sounds great, but what does it actually mean? Luckily, I'm here to explain it to you. Wi-Fi 6 is the same Wi-Fi you've been using for more than a decade, just faster and more efficient. It's like when mobile internet jumped from 3G to 4G, or from 4G to 5G like it will later this year, or when John Krasinski went from being the quirky comedy relief to buff leading man and everyone was like, whoa, where'd that come from? Since we constantly ask for more from our internet, like streaming 4K movies, VR, and video games, it only makes sense that our Wi-Fi should get better. To give you an idea, 4K video is double the bit rate of HD and nine times that of SD. Along with needing to accommodate for that increase in size, in 2022, there will be more digital traffic created in that year than in all of the 32 years the internet has existed combined. About 71% of the world's population, about 5.7 billion people, will be mobile users and mobile devices in business will reach 12.3 billion. That means there will be a higher need for faster, more robust Wi-Fi devices. So essentially, your moderately fast Wi-Fi just got more than moderately faster. According to CNET's testing, Wi-Fi 6's download speed is going to be around 1,000% faster in the United States than the current download speed. Yeah, that's fast. Just like in the movie Something Borrowed, where you're like, Jennifer Goodwin's finally gonna end up with John Krasinski, and John Krasinski turns around and he's like, actually, I just took a job in London, I'm moving there immediately. And you're like, yeah, that's fast. One of the other selling points for Wi-Fi 6 is that it can perform better in crowded environments where a lot of devices are connected to a single network. So internet speeds in sports stadiums or airports are gonna be significantly better with Wi-Fi 6. Companies like Netgear have already produced a handful of Wi-Fi 6 compatible routers, while Samsung Galaxy S10 and iPhone 11 both support the standard as well. That being said, these devices are all currently being held back by internet service providers in the US. It's great that Wi-Fi 6 can achieve download speeds of well above 1000 megabits per second, but most home networks can't support that right now. Buying a Wi-Fi 6 compatible device with a home internet package that only goes up to 200 megabits per second, it's like using a 5G phone in a 4G network or a Lamborghini in a New Jersey parking lot. Sure, it'll work and you can brag to your friends about it, but you're never gonna open that puppy up to 225 miles per hour on the Garden State Parkway. But even if Wi-Fi 6 doesn't work for most people in 2019, it's important that standards are set now to make sure that it works well once the infrastructure is in place. And it could be a few years before you start seeing tangible effects from the Wi-Fi 6 rollout. But rest assured, it is happening. Unlike something borrowed too, which is a tragedy. But our capabilities will just keep evolving like the meteoric career of John Krasinski. <laughs>